augmented reality is a profound technology. Blending digital content with the real world can unlock experiences like nothing we've ever seen. There isn't an AR bone in the Apple Vision Pro's body. It is basically a VR headset. Now, it's a very, very good VR headset, but it's just a VR headset. I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but you can't see through the Vision Pro. It actually has cameras on the outside that display it onto the screen with, with little to no lag. But that's what I'm doing here, not recommended, when I'm driving my car looking through the camera of my iPhone. The ironic part of this whole thing is that 90% of the hardware that make up the Vision Pro, uh, the OLED screens on each eye, the cameras, the multiple cameras for side camera, front cameras, hand tracking cameras, the LiDAR, and all those other hardware is made to recreate reality. And while it is the best that we've seen so far, I like the way this one YouTuber put it. One might be fooled, if only less for a second, that it was a pair of see-through goggles. But these instances are like a needle in a haystack, and in real-world scenarios, you will find yourself likely turning the knob to enable an environment, because the real world through this headset is drab, depressing, and compromising. So they created something that basically was a cheat code for where we all know we're going to get once smart glasses become ubiquitous. This is not the thing that's gonna change the world. This is the crystal ball that gives us a glimpse of the future and what it could look like with smart glasses. I think when they figure out how to make these not be these heavy $4,000 metal ski goggles, but you know maybe they look like these glasses or something even smaller, that that is what it'll be. In the morning, you won't remember your phone. You put it on and then that's it. In order to get rid of the phones within five years or four years and get smart glasses on everybody's eyeballs, here's what we're gonna have to do. They're gonna have to take all that hardware that they're using to recreate reality and get rid of it. The OLED screens are gonna be replaced with projectors and what they're gonna project onto is going to be a clear piece of glass that have waveguides. If you don't know what waveguides are, please go watch this video. Uh, it was, it was eye-opening for me to learn about this technology, but basically it's, it lets you see through glass reality and it's, there's etchings on it that let the projector project things right into your field of view and it looks like it's floating out in there. So all this technology Apple and everybody else is making is going to come in handy when we finally do get that pastor. We get a real see-through piece of glass with waveguides on it. Right now, one of the best people creating waveguides and smart glasses are View6. These are a pair of their shields. These glasses have two sets of waveguides and projectors on each side and computers and batteries inside the arms. It can project data right inside my vision and I can be talking to people, still gathering information. And these are the type of glasses that are going to replace phones. And it's like, hold on, I've got a call. Hey, what's up, mom? I'll call you back. You look great, by the way. And that's what it's going to look like. These are all little steps that are gonna get us to the point when we replace our phones with a device that is actually gonna just let us see our information in real time and actually help us in real time as well. I tell you what, please subscribe because the next couple of years in the smart glasses kind of uh, face covering space, there's going to be so much happening that we're going to be making a ton of new videos and I'm really excited to show you how fast things are going to change and, and reaching in your pocket is going to be a very, very old thing to do. Stay tuned. I hope you like the video. Thank you.